Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing for you. So, uh, I'm going to use the Devo Knives Stout V2. So, you're probably going to be hearing a lot about this from me in the near future because we are ramping up for a pre-order. Uh, it's looking like the end of the month, if possible, the end of July. Um, and this bad boy is going to be in Vanek, super clean. It's going to come with a milled clip. But there's also going to be cutouts underneath that fit the wire clip, and it's going to come with a wire clip. So you'll get the screw, whatever's needed to fit the wire clip and the milled clip, which will be cool. So you get both options. And then we're going to do lefty and righty versions, so you're not going to have to worry about this filler tab. It's going to be a clean show side. So uh, 325 on pre-order in Vanex. That uh, price is to hopefully entice you to uh, help us fund the project. It's going to be $375 retail. So um, it's a $50 discount for doing a pre-order and waiting with us, which we truly appreciate. It's going to have this sick, deep hollow grind from Best Tech. Um, yeah, we're really happy with the model overall. It's contoured. It's um, thinner. It's lighter. It's just a overall overhaul of this knife. So let us know what you think. But I am going to unbox a new knife from American Blade Works. So um, Michael Martin was kind enough to send me the Model 2 when that came out. And uh, now he was kind enough to send me the Model 1 Warning. I asked to check it out, and he was like, hell yeah. So... Then it took a couple weeks and I was like, hey man, I just want to follow up and see if you were going to send it. And he's like, yeah, I was waiting to get uh, a new batch of Ultim scales because he wanted to send me an Ultim one, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not the biggest Ultim fan, but it depends on the knife. And this knife looks pretty bad ace with some Ultim on it. I think that looks pretty damn classy. Uh, we are dead nuts down the center. Looks like we do have a reversible clip. Hopefully we have a nice detent on this guy. Okay. Let's feel that again. Yeah, that feels solid to me. Could be a little stronger, I guess. But it's definitely not um, on the weaker side at all. I'm trying to feel it. I could. No. Oh. I'm gonna shut up in a second. Nope, it's perfect. I shut up. I officially have shut up two minutes into the video. <laughs> um, you do have those lines on the blade, and I believe that's because it's milled into the blade. The grind is milled. It's not like um, it's not a bevel grinder that does the grind, as far as I understand. Man, this is sick, dude. This knife and a warney just wow. Uh, it is superbly comfortable choke up oh my god this is nice this is a magna cut steel we have a little bit of lock stick there on the uh disengagement we'll see how that breaks in because it is steel on steel and um looks like somebody already tried to use sharpie to fix it maybe um or if we get lucky that that's just oil and we'll be able to clean that off and that'll take care of it let's see but I'm thinking somebody already tried the uh, Sharpie trick on this. Let's see. I feel like it's clearing out. I think I just need to hit it with alcohol one more time. I think it was just some oil on there. If you get oil on the uh, lock bar or lock face or on the tang here or whatever, sometimes if you get the right knife, you can have enough space in here. Yeah. Nice. I can get in there with my Q-tip and clean that off too. So let's just see what we do here. Clean everything off. OK. 
Okay, clean that. Close it. Hit it again. Flip it. It's gonna, it's gonna have stick, because I just put alcohol on the contact point. It's gonna allow it to shift over. If you didn't know, that's why oil is bad for a lock bar, because if you get oil on the lock bar, it gives it that little bit of lubrication to let the lock bar slip over further and lock up more, which obviously could cause stick. We're gonna let that alcohol where it's, it, the alcohol has to evaporate. And then we'll see where we end up after that. Still got a little bit. We're at about 40% looks like. The lock bar is fully engaged, but um, looks about 40, 50%. Yeah, it's clearing out, I think. Maybe the slightest, but I'm not going to. That doesn't bother me. All right. Uh, looks like we have T8s all around. I love the look of this thing. T8s or T6? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, wait. Wasn't this guy in like a T7 or something, if I remember correctly? Yeah, I think I remember that. It's a T7. Um, so the knife is a T7 all around, which is fine. I mean, it's cool with me. It's interesting. And then you have, I think, a T15. T15 on the pivot. Yep, T15 on that pivot. Again, centering is dead nuts. No play. No lock rock. I've heard somebody mention a uh, lock slip or... Locks failing, no way on that. Action, nice. Yeah, look at that. This, I like the action on this better than I like the Model 2. Um, because I can get out of the way of that flipper tab easy. It's coming down. It's not guillotining or anything. I could mess with stuff. I really don't want to. I don't know what kind of bearings are in here. That could, you know, help if I swap those out. But flipper tab is absolutely crispy. Um, you have that jimping up here is perfect. It's rounded. So unlike, say, a sharp by design flipper tab, I'm just using it as an example where it kind of caresses your finger right here. But because of that, it has like a swoop and it sharpens up right here. So it, it hurts. Um, this, I can get right on the nub and push button that and it feels literally amazing. Um, and then you can also just pull it down for a light switch. Um, I've immediately gotten the hang of this detent. Um, it was not light. I mean, can't feel it. It's like literally, I'm going to say it. It's literally the perfect detent because you can't fail it, yet it's not like strong ripping your finger off. So you can push button it perfectly, and then you can light switch it down perfectly as well. Um, you see, guys, you see I'm changing here. I, I used to just get like, oh, my God, the first impression, and then it's stuck, you know. But I allow myself to adapt and then feel change, and this feels perfect. It really does. This blade is going to be, oh, my God, okay. Hold the phone. Look at this. I have a choil. I don't know if it's meant to be a choil, but that is a flipping finger choil. Oh my God. Magna cut, baby. And you know this Magna cut is at 63 or 60, something cool like that. I know he does that, uh, which is awesome. Cool logo. That, dude, I really have never loved an Ultim knife that I can think of. Um, I'm sure there's an example somebody can remind me. I like it in fidget sometimes. Like, you know, this is cool because it's lightweight, disappears in your pocket. But I don't know, I've never been a fan of it on knives, but dude has pulled it off. This is absolutely fantastic. And then you have the um, beautiful blade on this. Wow, dude, I am fucking stoked on this knife. Rever oh my God, Slurpee Saver 5000 right here. <laughs> hey, you want my Slurpee? Back up. Oh, <laughs> Talon Slurpee Saber. Dudes. 
That's freaking cool. All right, let me grab the iPad. Let's just see if this sucker's available right now. Shall we? Shall we see? Uh, wait, wait, I don't need that. Get out of here. Get out of here. American Blade Works. Model 1. Uh, right? Isn't it the Model 1? Let's go to American Blade Works. And this knife comes in uh, liner lock, comes in frame lock, I believe. It comes in different versions, has the uh, normal drop point blade. Um, so there's a lot of options with this knife. Uh, I didn't even know he had a fixed blade. Look at that, it's sold out. He had that, uh, I remember when I first talked to him like two years ago, he had this um, utility knife, which is cool. I'm trying to see if we can find the warning on here. Uh, Everything's sold out, which is a great, great sign here. There's a warning. So just so we can get a reference point, 199 in uh, black G10. So that's pretty good pricing. I think they're like, they top out, I think, at like 299, maybe 250. Um, if that's what this cost in Ultim, this could be this could be 300 and 400. I wouldn't give a shit. Um, it's a made in the U.S. It's, it's freaking fantastic. Um, I would love to do a uh, swap. Let's see. Do we have a tapper, though? No. No. No, we do not have a tapper, sir. Um, I'd love to do a blade swap, but I'm thinking these are T7s. Damn it. Um, I'm going to have to hunt down a T7, y'all. Let's see if I have one in here from the last... Might have one from the last uh, ABW, the ABWs. T8, T10. Come on, you T7. Come on, come to daddy. Sound like an idiot, but what is new? Seriously, it's always the last thing I find too. Sorry guys I'm gonna find it It's my mission in life To find a T7 T6, T6 Are these all T6? Idiot I didn't realize I had a I didn't realize I was this smart And had a bag full of T6s I'm pretty smart Just saying just saying, pretty smart. I just need like a kit so that when I need one thing, I can find it. This is the bag I was looking for, just so you know. I'm not just a madman pouring out bags. T7, got it. Watch it be a T9. Was this it? T7. Watch it be a T9. It's like, let's go back in. If you're still watching, first off, congratulations. You have one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> thank you. And uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, I'd appreciate it. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a comment, any comment, make fun of me for this part. Whatever you want to do, I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel because we need the love. T7, boom. Very cool. Um, I forgot. Somebody told me there was a reason for it being T7. He makes something. I forget. He makes his own screws, or there was some reason for it, but I can't remember. See how much knowledge I retain? I want to flip it around. I have my uh, Stout V2 set up for righty, and I figure I'd just let that ride, and then I'll pop this guy over here, and I want to see how it reverses over. Do, 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 do. All right, that was exceedingly easy in my opinion. I should have given it, given it, given it. I should have given it a little bend, just because I like them. I like them stiff, just like I like my never mind coffee. Let's just test that clip out. Yeah, see, I like them. I like, I like them a little stiffer. 
So I'll show you my trick if anybody's curious. This one feels like a hand bender to me. Like I could probably just tweak it. But I gotta be careful. You don't want to bend it down in the wrong area either. Alright. What I was trying to do there was just put a little bit more tension on it so that it doesn't come out of the pocket so easy. It just there's nothing wrong with the way the clip was. I just think, you know, a little bit tighter. Never hurt anyone. So she said. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We are rocking and rolling with the lefty clip. Look at that. Look at this thing, guys. I am freaking impressed, Michael. Michael, you silly goose. Uh, <laughs> sorry. No, uh, dude, you are an absolute superstar. Um, I can't give Michael Martin and American Blade Works more props. They come out with a knife, and they perfect that knife. They just keep hammering it. They had like eight versions of this damn thing. Um, and now they they added, so they perfected it. Then they add a Warren Cliff version of it. So they already have the basics down. And then they can just dial in this Warney. This thing is, dude, uh, you're looking for an American-made knife that has great cutting performance, a great heat treat, cost-effective. I mean, this thing's $300, maybe. I think I, it was $199 for the Black G10, so let's call it $250 for this. Maybe. Could be less. I don't freaking know. Two fifty. You get a milled clip, magnet cut at sixty three, sixty four. Guarantee it. You get great action. You get a great detent, right? But yeah, I can flick this thing. Boom! Suck it. Um, great disengage. Look at that lock bar access. Oh my goodness! Nice clip carries well. Nice profile, hidden away. You don't, you know, you're not touching the blade down here or anything. Razor sharp, great cutting. Uh, I've had enough of his knives to know that he puts a sick edge on. And the fact that it's a Warney, guys, freaking, uh, it's it's a label slayer, a label slayer. I don't. Like, what else could you want? This, in my opinion, is the this is the best American made knife. I think for the price. I mean. Uh, you know, you if you want an OTF, you could you know you could talk axial. I think, um, although their prices are, are close to three hundred now, or they're at three hundred. You can use my code Lefty Ten, and that'll knock off thirty bucks and make it two seventy. So it's reasonable. You know, but these are companies you don't hear about a ton. You hear about Chris Reeve, and you hear about blah blah blah, right? And you hear about Tactile. I don't have anything against the people at Tactile, but they put knives out. And, you know, a lot of times the quality is an issue and they, you know, they slowly work it out. Um, and that's fine. But people rave about that company for the price that they're selling knives at. These cost less and arguably have better quality. So, you know, uh, again, I have nothing. I, I love the people over there. Um, but... I feel like Michael Martin needs to get a little more uh, support. And I, I like the people at Axial as well. Use Lefty10 over there at axialknives.com or whatever. But American Blade Works, guys, star of the show. Look at that. It has a titanium backspacer. Are you kidding me? Reversible clip. Beautiful. Just a beautiful knife. This ultimate. Man, you really. Did I just say that in a. Man, British accent. You really turn me around on Ultim here with this. Yeah, man, it's sexy. All right, I'm going to shut up, guys. This is a home run. If you can find one of these available somewhere, buy it. I'll link what I can. I don't have any affiliation with American Blade Works. You know, he did send me this knife, um, but I'm going to pass it around, uh, I think. I'm going to pass it around to some other people to review. So, you know, it's not like I, I got some free knife and I'm just hanging on this knife and whatever. Um just really really good solid solid work i'm fucking impressed that's I, blown away so thank you michael for sending this my way really appreciate it and um 
Guys, check out American Blade Works. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Hey, failed it for the first time. That was my fault. I slipped off the uh, flipper tab. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.